So very interesting question. We're going to start with the data we've been presented. There are 40 students in this class, each weighing 40 kilograms. M students join this class, each weighing N kilograms. Now M should be less than 10. So we know this, N is more than 40, M is less than 10. M could be N could be 41, M could be 9, or 42 and 8, and so on. All different combinations are possible. Now, suppose N were 41. We bring in 9 students, each weighing 41 kilograms. I'm going to break this 41 into two parts, 40 and 1. That means 9 students, each weighing 40. Then, the average would not have changed. Because they weigh 41, the average is going to increase. How much is the total going to increase by? Each student brings 1 extra kilogram. There are 9 students. So, the total extra weight brought in is 1 into 9. The total extra weight brought in. This is going to get distributed over all the students that are there. There are now going to be 49 students because 41 kilograms each, 9 students coming in. So, 1 into 9 by 49. This is going to be the total increase in average. Very important idea. We are doing this scenario when n equals 41, n equals 9. I'm going to break this down. There is an extra weight brought in by each student. Total number of extra students entering the class is the total extra weight. When I say extra weight, I mean weight above 40 kilograms. This gets apportioned over all the students, or 49 students in this course here. Now, if you increase n to 42, m to 8, then extra weight per student is 2. Extra weight, number of students bringing this extra weight, the 8 students. Total impact on average is 2 into 8 by 48, by 45. 5 extra students, 5 kilograms extra each, 45 students total. The next step, when n becomes 46 and n is 4, each student brings in 6 extra kilograms, 4 extra students, so 6 into 4 by 44. I'm writing this down here, because this is 4 into 6, that is 6 into 4. 6 into 4 by 44. This will be, now I'm going to just fill in the data, 7 into 3, by 43, 8 into 2, by 42, 9 into 1, by 41. We know all the possible scenarios. We need to know which one of these is maximum. Straight away, this is 9 into 1 by 41, this is 9 into 1 by 49. This is too low, this is too low, this is low, this is low. All of these are lower than the corresponding entries here. That's a starting point. Now the denominators 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, they don't change much. So this is going to hinge on the numerator. This is 9 by 41, this is 16 by 42, so obviously this is higher. This is 21 by 43, this is just 16, so obviously this number is higher. This is 21 by 43, this is 24 by 44, this is higher. This is 25 by 45, only these two could be close. So they are comparing effectively. 24 by 44 and 25 by 45. Here the denominator is going up by 1, numerator is going up by 1, but the impact on the numerator is higher because it's a smaller number is going up by 1. So this is higher, this also out. Or the average will increase by 25 by 45. 25 by 45 is nothing but 5 by 9 or 0.55. Average was 40 to start with. It will now become 40.55 of the maximum possible average when M students join each weighing N kilograms is 40.55 and that will happen when there are 5 students each weighing 45 kilograms.